Hello everyone. Today I will um, uh, introduce to a web link which will actually help you to like calculate important calculations like a uh, throughput calculator, then a uh, link budget, ARFCN, timing advance, user. Mainly we will actually focus on um, the RS power uh, RS power boosting calculator mainly our focus will be to calculate on that thing and you can also do mainly the actually wavelength is uh, for 5g calculator but uh, uh, we can calculate the 4g uh, 4g important calculations also so uh, what will we do uh, we will start our um, session by showing some of the calculations like uh, uh, with the link budget calculator you can actually calculate um, be like uh, be, uh, any, in any network how will be the uh, link budget for each signaling loss you can input those values you see input all those values and you can get a final result here what will be your link link budget and what will be the uh, receive sensitivity you can find from here so like you don't have to do it manually or anything like that it's so it's very easy also uh, from the ERFCN calculator you can find if you give the center frequency uh, it will give you what will be your band and what will be the frequency range for example if I put like one five um, five sevens suppose you see it's calculating the uplink ARFCN which band are, uh, am I uh, giving the center frequency and what is the um, uh, downlink and uplink uh, uh, frequency in the megahertz so we can get those things also and uh, one of the uh, few important things is like uh, GBM to watt calculator this is also we need when we uh, like calculating the power and something like that just for a single click we can give like if our um, uh, RRU power is like 46 dBm we know that it's a 60 uh, it's a 40 watt RRU so like that similarly the opposite side also we can give the watt value and we can get the dBm value also so in this way we can easily calculate those things also and uh, another thing is the um, LT user, uh, CC user, mainly the control channel elements uh, user also we can calculate from here. There is some theory on that. Uh, we know that we all, I think we all know the theory. So if we can just input those values, we can give a, the, it will give a result that how many CCs we can define and what will be the max user it will support so let's not delay and we go to the important topics which is i will show you actually the timing advance and um, mainly the rs calculation power calculation and how we can improve the throughput like uh, the lt main customer complaints are about the throughput so okay let's first uh, i will go to show you the timing advance so timing advance also an important aspect because uh, when from the usually from the counters we get the timing advance value so we need to convert those into the distance so like one so like one t how much meter or kilometer is actually so if you put the uh, ta value here it will show you the distance like one t is equal to 7.125 meter so like if you put like 15 TA so it means that it's like 1171 11, meter like one more than one kilometer so from here also you can get a quick view of uh, the TA value so let's not delay we go to the main topic which is actually the 4G LT RS RU uh, power cal boosting calculator uh, mainly it is uh, very important for us uh, to calculate whenever we face any um, customer complaint or like that we need to increase the throughput and 
actually this uh, power conversion or to increase the throughput it's actually strictly um, uh, related to coverage so uh, whenever we are changing this rs uh, power or pa or pv value uh, we need to uh, we need to keep in mind that the coverage also will be compromised so actually we know the theory what is the uh, calculation and everything there are some also some theory so i will show you the calculation it's here it's very easy so mainly the parameters that are related to the rs power pa and pb calculation is uh, uh, consist of the total power that is the maximum power of the rru the pa value pb value what is the um, uh, trans uh, what is the uh, mimo mode is it two, two two cross two or four cross four what is the bandwidth and the pa and pb value is the mainly the input and the um, variables of uh, this calculation i want to uh, i want to uh, notify that mainly if you change this one of these parameters the coverage will be compromised so like uh, if i think a scenario that um, an area where uh, um, mainly the initially uh, the co uh, the settings was to cover more area and suppose the um, the inputs are like this like uh, we have a 40 watt rru which is actually the uh, 46 dbm value and uh, we have a 2 cross 2 mimo and suppose we have a 10 megahertz bandwidth of a network so initially uh, for the coverage uh, the pv value is 1 so correspondingly the pa value is minus 3 uh, it's obvious so we can give rs power 18.2 now suppose um, after one year or two year when the user get increased and the cell load is very high and uh, we consider that it's an urban area so make sure uh, whenever we are changing any of this parameter coverage will be hampered so we will not change any cells or site where there is not overlapping coverage because whenever we shrink our coverage there will be a black hole so uh, the customer in the cell edge will be out of coverage if we change these parameters so uh, so if to in mainly we will uh, show you how to increase uh, the throughput from this calculation like like a uh, 40 watt uh, rru is actually fixed value so we will not change that thing and maybe we cannot change the uh, initially maybe the MIMO also we cannot change so we keep it to cross to MIMO and for 10 megahertz bandwidth okay so now what is in our hand is the PB value so currently the PB value is 1 so if we change it to 0 PA value also change and you see the RS power also change it to 15.2 from 18.2 so it's actually RS power is considered as the coverage for uh, the LT. So it's reducing the coverage and it is giving the power to the traffic channel. So on an approximation, um, approximately 20% throughput uh, might be increased uh, due to change of this parameter. But considering that the coverage will be reduced a bit around 3 dBm. You see the PA value has been reduced from uh, minus 3 to 0. So uh, coverage will be hampered and also, uh, but your throughput will be increased. That's that's uh, definitely sure. Your CQI and MCS will improve. The Your 64 QAM um, uh, ratio will increase and CQ also will be increased. And um, on the end, the throughput will be increased. Another thing uh, that people always ask that if we change the bandwidth, suppose uh, I have a uh, I have a network with 10 megahertz bandwidth. Now uh, we have purchased more 10 megahertz of bandwidth. We, uh, will we need to change the parameters like RS power or something like that? 
um the answer is yes we need to change the parameter suppose it's very easy from here like uh, currently i have 10 megahertz and we increase to 20 megahertz you will see the parameters are changed before it was 18.2 now when we go to 20 megahertz it's already changed to 15.2 so whenever we are upgrading our bandwidth we also need to consider that our rs power will be changed so what we can do to uh, like we want to make it 20 megahertz and also we need to we want to keep it 15.2 so what we can do like on this scenario we can uh, what we can do we can increase the coverage by uh, making the pb value change to higher value which will increase our coverage but consider that and the uh, the throughput might not be the ideal for 20 20 megahertz so there's a uh, like positive and negative side of the coin so we have to keep on considering that another way is uh, you go to this web link uh, like the next portion like if you want to keep your uh, pv value suppose what it was like 18.2 so what we can do in the next part like we want to keep it 18.2 suppose 18.2 hmm. to, to cross to my more 20 megahertz and we want to keep this way what will be the rru power we need so you see we need 80 watt rru power previously it was 40 watt right so if you want to keep the same settings with 10 megahertz to 20 megahertz you have to upgrade your power uh, uh, like rru from 40 watt rru to 80 watt rru so this is a very uh, good uh, very good tool to actually calculate um, um the rs power and for the throughput actually for the throughput calculation it's very important to we change the rs boosting so i hope that it will help you in future also to easily calculate these things so i hope that uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box and i will try to answer as soon as possible so for further optimization uh, like if you are the coverage is reduced we can use other parameters also to increase um the coverage uh, so in the later of uh, in the later in the future videos i will show you how to how we can increase the coverage in changing the other parameters also so do subscribe our channel for the future uh, videos and i will upgrade you uh, uh, further parameter tuning on both uh, 4g and 3g so do keep us in touch keep in touch so f for now um, thank you very much and like if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe our channel and hit the bell button so that all the new videos you will be updated thank you very much